the wonder of the world, the beauty and the power, the shapes of things, their colors, lights and shades. These I saw. Look ye also while life lasts. Hours slipped by without even a twitch of his lines. But Martin's quite happy soaking up the sun while watching the trees and insects doing just the same. Spring will soon blossom into summer and all seems right with the world. I mean, God dear me. I'm not saying a lot because it's a bit of tension. Oh, no. It's like having Moby Dick on. Although these are the moments where you realise why you go fishing. Yeah. Can't get much better than a lovely evening and a monster on the end. We've reached a stalemate between us at the moment. It's a mirror, that's for certain. And that was cool. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, yes. <laughs> Um, that's, um, I can safely say that's a, a monster car. The Thorps teach their pupils where to cast, and it's no time at all before Nancy hooks her first ever fish. But will she land it? Okay, so drop your elbow a little. Good girl. Okay, look, 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 look at that. He's a good one. Oh, he's, he's nice. nice. Do you want to hold that? He's keeping an order. Is he nice? Even in today's modern world, an innocent child's basic hunting instincts are close to the surface. I want to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Grayling and trout love clean, fast flowing water, and they thrive in the Kennet at Hungerford. They provide a good teaching aid because Rob takes the river's wildlife into the classroom in a large tank. The children obviously find this exciting. Did you draw one of them, a bit, the big one? So these are all the fish that live in, live in the river here, aren't they? Can you draw them? Your lips are ugly, aren't you? Yeah. Go away. Learning about grayling and what they eat helps the children's education in many ways and inspires them to explore the great outdoors. Can we do fishing tomorrow if it's nice? That's extraordinary. And that really is the buzz, I think. There's one of the things, Martin, when you're fishing somewhere like this, that you don't know the lake, you don't really know what's in it, you've heard there's a, a couple of thirties or whatever, and there's a terrible feeling in the pit of your stomach that one of them is going to get hold of it. Mm. That's gone. I just chucked it in there and that's gone. That's from that lamp rod. That's amazing. Have a look at him. Oh, yep. I don't know. It's so... Oh, he's taking a bit of line anyway. That's a good one. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're going to run out of line. Oh, I won't run out of line. What's the matter with you people? They're all the same, I don't know. You've done all right there, Bernard. You may well have... Um... The world record! <laughs> this is the longest pike fight I've ever seen. Nonsense. I've had them longer than this. I think I'm going to have a lay down. You want to make some tea? Look at it going. She's amazing. <laughs> 